intentionally and knowingly commit any of a number of prohibited sexual activities listed under Texas sexual assault law without the victim's consent. In general, sexual assault is involuntary sexual contact that occurs through the actor's use of force, coercion, and the victim's incapacitation. The law will consider the victim incapacitated if he or she does not have the mental ability to understand the nature of the sexual act or if the victim was physically incapable of indicating their unwillingness to participate in the sexual conduct. This charge may be elevated to that of aggravated sexual assault if any of the following occurs during the commission of the sexual assault. The defendant has caused serious bodily injury or attempted to cause the death of the victim. The defendant placed the victim in fear of death, serious bodily injury, or kidnapping to the victim's self or to another person. A deadly weapon was used or exhibited during the crime. The defendant acted with another individual in committing the crime. The date, rape, drug, also known as Rockland or Henry, Henry was used with the intent of making the offense easier to commit. The victim is younger than 14 years of age and the victim is an elderly or disabled individual. Penalties and sentences. Sexual assault is typically a second degree felony. This carries a sentence of two or 20 years in state or prison and a fine of up to $10,000. Aggravated sexual assault is a first degree felony. The minimum prison sentence may be 25 years in the event that the victim is younger than six years of age when the crime was committed or if the victim was younger than 14 years of age and either a deadly weapon was used or exhibited. The child was seriously hurt, the defendant attempted to kill the child, or the defendant used drugs to facilitate the crime. Crimes against persons. From 2010 to 2014, University Police investigated six sexual assault cases. National statistics suggest only one in 10 sexual assaults are reported for females. Only one in 30 sexual assaults are reported for males. Property crime is a category of crime that includes, among other crimes, burglary, theft, motor vehicle theft, arson, and vandalism. Property crime only involves the taking of money or property and does not involve force or threat of force against the victim.
Thank you, Mike. Um, I just want to let you guys know that we currently have a um, system in place where we, we write down your information of your bike and we take a picture. Just to prevent the crime, that's up to you guys to keep it locked up. But in case it does get stolen or lost, um, you can come to us and we'll give you that information. If it's lost here or, or stolen here, uh, we, can, we can get it back a lot easier for you guys, okay? So you just come by and we'll, we'll help you out with that. Crimes against property. Vandalism for limited. Park your vehicle in a well-lighted area. Do not leave valuables in your car. Report vandalism to New York City Police immediately. Burglary of habitation and building. Burglary is the breaking and entering of a dwelling of another with an intent to commit a felony theft or assault therein. It is an offense against possession habitation. The common law elements of the offense have been modified in most jurisdictions by statute to intend to make the crime less suspicious. Most parking books for cars that are easily accessible. Close all windows and lock all doors. Park in a well-lighted space. Never leave valuables left. 